Hey y'all and welcome back for another Winning Wednesday podcast. I am your host Geneva Brown and in today's episode I want to talk to you all about strength and then I want to give you guys a a little bit of background history. Um, In today's episode I originally had something else planned out and because of some things that have happened, um, I f- have feel the Lord is leading me to talk about strength um, on today's episode. So before I actually started doing Winning Wednesdays in my own personal life, I was in search of who God is because I felt so empty inside and I knew that God was the only one that was going to fill the void that I had in my life. And so I came to this point where I just really wanted to know who God is for myself. I mean, I I really wanted to know who God is. I wanted to know him, you know, as creator, as Lord, as king, as sovereign, as ruler. And so right in the middle of me, learning about God, I lost two people very close to me that were kind of like my guide, my compass in this new relationship that I was seeking to have, you know, with the Lord. And that was my grandmother and my mother. They both passed away um, within weeks of each other. And so I realized I was just relying on them and nothing is wrong with that, but I was just relying on them to help me grow, you know, and when they passed away, it was very hard for me. And so I found myself a lot of the times just saying, you know, if they could get through it, then I know I can get through it. But I felt like the Lord was changing my perspective and letting me know that you're going to be able to get through it, not just because they went through it, because they went through it, because I helped them through it. I gave them the strength that they needed. And at this point, God wanted to give me this strength. And this is a strength that in 2017, up until now, and I know it's going to continue for in my life that I have been relying on every single day. So I realized that I needed the strength of God, not my own strength, to help me to live. I can't even express to you how I felt like I was in such a dark place. Nothing seemed right. Nothing felt right. And it looked like I was all right on the outside. But in the inside, I felt weak. I felt unworthy and then I felt exhausted, exhausted from trying so many things in my own strength that was getting me nowhere. So I want to encourage you, if you are at that point in your life, if you are struggling, if you have come to a point where you are exhausted and out of your own human strength. I want to encourage you today with God's message of his strength that is available for all of us. So I found that I just needed to come to the end of myself in order for God's strength to begin. And I found that his strength has really been carrying me every single day. When you are grieving a loss of any kind, you will have this sense of hopelessness. And it could be any type of loss. It could be a loss of a loved one, a loss of a job, a relationship, a friendship, material things. It does not matter. A loss is considered to be anything that leaves you feeling without something you once had. That is a loss. And when you think about that, anything, Virtually anything can be a loss. And so Job knew this feeling very well. 
He had lost everything, his children, his home, his wealth, and even his friends and his wife. In the story of Job in the Bible, they turn on him. And in this one particular passage of scripture, in Job chapter 6, verses 11 and 13, Job, Job says this about his situation. He says, what is my strength that I should wait? And what is my end that I should be patient? Is my strength the strength of stones or is my flesh bronze? Have I any help in me when resource is driven from me? Job's words expresses his deep feelings of hopelessness and helplessness. He was hopeless because he did not see a path forward. He could not see that his present and his future was in the hands of the creator of all things. And he felt helpless because if he was the only strength that he needed to get him out of his situation, he realized there is no more strength because I have none. I love the NIV translation that says in verse 13, do I have any power to help myself now that success has been driven from me? Some of you may be asking yourself that question. Do I have any power? Do I have any strength left in myself now that I've looked around and what I thought was a victory, what I thought was a success, what I thought was good, what I thought was the right path, it's gone away. It's dissolved. It's not working anymore. It doesn't feel like it used to feel anymore. And I'm tired. I'm tired. Sometimes life can take us by surprise. Job did not anticipate that he would experience such a great loss, a life-changing loss. And neither can we. But God knows all things. This is one of the hardest truths that we have a hard time understanding and accepting. That God knows all things and he is in control of all things. Nothing takes God by surprise. So I want to speak to the heart of the person who has come to the end of their strength. You are tired of waiting. The answers you've been hoping for haven't been in your favor. Your heart is broken so severely that it seems that it's broken beyond repair. Your life is so off track that you've given up. Your relationship seems as though it will never get better. You feel trapped with no way of escape. You're all out of options. You've tried everything and nothing is working. The financial strain and stress that you are under just won't go away. And things just keep piling up on you with no end of relief in sight. And then you've maybe made so many bad decisions that you don't know which way is right anymore. And then there is maybe one that is struggling silently, too afraid to admit that they need help. I say to you all what God said to me. When your strength ends, allow my strength to begin. I have learned that God is willing and more than able to impart his strength within us through the help and the work of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we take for granted the role, the job of the Holy Spirit, and he is our helper. He is our comforter. But we must allow the Holy Spirit to help us by acknowledging and admitting that we have no more strength left in us. We have no more fight left in us, no more argument left within us, no more us. And when we get to the end of ourselves, God's strength 
can begin. So I'm praying for you today because I know someone was praying for me that I would soon come to realize that I've been running around life trying to do it all on my own and in my own strength. But there is a God that is there that is more than willing, more than capable to help you through whatever it is, whatever decisions you need to make, It does not matter. God is there. He's willing to help you. He does not want you to go into anything blindly. God cares about every single thing in our lives. He created this life for us. So he knows everything that is in this life that we need. And he does not want us to do it on our own aside from him. We are to trust and depend on him. And so many times we rely on ourselves or someone else's strength. But God is saying, come to the end of your strength and let my strength begin. You think you are strong. You think you can handle whatever it is. You won't be able to because you are limited. You don't have all knowledge, all power like God does. So why not yield to his strength and allow him to help you through whatever it is? It does not matter. It can be emotional, financial, spiritual, relational. It does not matter. We need God's strength every single day because we don't know what's going to happen day by day. So I simply want to invite you to pray this simple prayer. Father, I have come to the end of my strength. I have nothing left to give or to say, except that I need your strength to take over, to restore me, to clear my mind and my path, to touch my mind and to bring me peace, to intervene, and my situation, because you know all about it. In Jesus' name, thank you for being the Father, the Alpha, and the Omega. Thank you for helping me to see the strength that I need does not come from me, but from you, the one who made me. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that this truth and this light will reign in your hearts, both now and forever. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one.